sadly, we're leaving Zion National Park today. And uh, in order to get out, because Jackson and I are oversized, <laughs> we had to purchase a special $15 oversized permit to get through a tunnel. Uh, all RVs and large, wide, tall vehicles have to have a private escort because it's a two lane if it's just cars. But when someone like me wants to leave the park, they gotta shut down the whole tunnel and let the RVs through just one at a time, I guess. Or maybe they hold us up for a few hours and collect like 10 or 12 RVs, I'm not sure. But this is the last step to get out of here. And it's cloudy today, so I'm glad I did all of my hiking prior. But we'll get up here to the tunnel. Hello, friend. <laughs> I didn't expect to see a cat today. Just chilling. Chilling is right. Does she like camping? Oh yeah. Yeah. I've been doing this for eight years now. Really? He loves it. What's his name? Jax. Jax? Wow. Clearance 13-2. Well then. Ooh, it's a dark tunnel too. This is cool. I'm not gonna honk the horn in this tunnel though because, I don't know, a national park doesn't feel right. Well, this is the first restaurant we hit, first store since the park, and we got this. Hey, I'm just reading it, guys. Thunderbird restaurant, home of the homemade pies. That's what it says, homemade pies. Just don't get mad at me, I'm just reading it. They're famous for their homemade pies. So we'll go lock up the RV and go get some pie. Uh, I, I want to try the hot the apple, apple pie with buttered okay. rum sauce, but can I also get the strawberry rhubarb to go? I don't have that one. Oh, oh no. Okay. I know we're having a hard time. Is getting that the, the season? Because, yeah, it's yeah. okay. I figured. But um, the Thunderberry is a berry mix. Do you like strawberry? It's strawberry, yeah. blackberry, blueberry, raspberry. Okay. It's let's, my favorite. Let's do that to go then. Okay. Perfect. And then do you want ice cream on your apple pie or just yeah, vanilla just ice cream? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Please. One on, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Thanks. hate to brag guys but look at that look at that apple pie rum sauce to go on top french vanilla ice cream Ooh. and nice coffee oh yeah oh yeah mm. Mm. that's homemade right there homemade Awesome, I got pie for dessert tonight, and I got a magnet that says homemade pies. Ow. Uh, yeah, I think this is a great, I wish more places like these were around the country. Something quirky and unique, like a funky spelling of something that makes you laugh, and then to have really good food and souvenirs to go with it for a memory. I will never forget that homemade pie. All right, back on the road we go. I did make a U-turn to come back and look at this. I feel like we're back in quartzite because everybody's trying to sell me rocks. Like every hundred feet, there's another rock store. Dude, I see rocks all the time. There's rocks right there. I don't need to buy rocks. I've never been into collecting rocks, but okay, across the street there, you got Fisher's Rock Shop. Look at this guys, the rock shop, which is an attempt to try to make the building look like a rock. But I don't know if I'm quite convinced with the pink and the white top. I mean, hey, I'll, I'll give them a, a C plus for effort to be quirky. Other than that, I don't even know if that looks like a rock. Okay, maybe it just needs a different color paint or something, so I'm not buying it. Anyway, I don't need any rocks, so I'll get back on the road. On the road again, like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway. Watch your bandit run. I'm passing everything in sight. Six days on the road and I'm gonna make 
my traveling playlist and I actually put it together on YouTube. So if you guys want to check out those songs or play it while you're driving, you can do the same thing. Just go to my YouTube homepage, my about page, click on the middle tab there where it says playlists and then scroll through my playlist and look for my, my road, road something playlist. And that's uh, all songs to do with, with driving. Really upbeat, fun songs. So you guys can check those out and jam to them on your next trip if you'd like as well. Um, let me just get you caught up. It's been two more days. Uh, I sh trimmed my beard drastically. I just, it was getting too long. And besides, I was sitting a couple days ago at um, a parking spot and a lady pulled in and parked next to me, took one look at me and literally reversed her car back up and parked two spaces farther away from me. <laughs> so <laughs> I trimmed the beard <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it this length again because this is my usual. Um, yesterday, I spent the entire first half of the morning back at a Les Schwab. You need to say anything doesn't matter. That's it. This is the last one. This is the reason, the main reason why I came back to Salt Lake City. Yeah, uh, that's it. We're done. The next time we need work, it'll obviously be done at a different kind of shop because there are no more east of here. Also, my door and screen got ripped off in the wind. Thank you, Ben. My buddy here in Salt Lake City helped me fix my door and screen back on. Secondly, I got a package from Walmart. And if you guys don't know if you're traveling, if you need something very specific, like, I don't know, my little speaker went out. So I ordered a new one and it was great. The little site to store thing, pay for it online, go pick it up here at the location, ready to go. And I'm here at FedEx office. Sorry for the road noise out here. Just got my quarterly package sent. This is the stuff that's from my PO box, envelopes and other packages that have been sent. So, and important mail, tax information and all that stuff. So I do that, it works great. Um, I have my buddy package up all my stuff. He takes it into the local FedEx office there and says, send it to this state's FedEx office and hold for pickup. And they hold it for seven days, there's no extra charge. Great way to pick up my mail. Glad I have a friend back home that's able to help me out. So let me regroup everything now because a lot has happened. Let me get back on the road. Just going through boxes and bags and fan mail. Thank you so much for all the fan mail, everybody. The letters and the gift cards and the cards and everything. Thank you so much. Some other things I got. Alan sent me a couple cassette tapes. The Shadow and Vengeful Corpse Song of the Slash. It sounds like some metal stuff. Thanks a lot, Alan. We'll be checking these cassettes out. And uh, Mike sent me Metallica's Ride the Lightning cassette. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Carla sent me some goodies for Jack, some fancy feast, exactly what he eats, and some of these uh, wet food pouches, as well as she sent me a couple soaps that are good for uh, keeping bugs and mosquitoes off your skin. Handcrafted soap, coconut and lime, and tea tree citronella. Citronella soap. Ah, that's very interesting. I did not know about that. Thank you. Natalie and Corey had an extra shirt, so they sent me... The Cat Father t-shirt. I like that, guys. Thanks a lot. And Joseph, saw you had a problem. Maybe you can use these. Oh, these are door struts for my cabinet that I still have not replaced. Thank you very, very much, Joseph. These are awesome. Those will definitely... Definitely come in handy. I will fix that now, cool. As well as some other stuff, I got some camera supplies, like a new way to uh, tilt the microphone back and forth. Um, batteries, I got new batteries for the camera system. I got a genuine Yamaha replacement uh, blinker since I busted the one I had. And some other just funky stuff just to get set on the road. So now we're good. Everything checks out. Uh, the problem with the front caliper, by the way, it was nothing major, it was just a sticky, caliper still under warranty like I said so it didn't cost me a dime at Les Schwab but it goes back to they don't need cat butt they, they don't need it uh, anyway we're done moving on uh, good we can go east from here okay oh you knew there was stuff for you yeah there's this that has your name on it you want to smell it what does it smell like okay and now it's 5 30 I'm here doing some laundry. 
Um, I did give away my little portable washer. I gave it away to one of my viewers who asked me about it. She loves it. She loved it. She was very thankful to just be able to pick it up on the road. And I mean, it works great. You still got to be plugged in. You still got to be somewhere where you have unlimited water was the thing. So, I mean, I would have loved to have kept it. It just takes up the whole tub. And every time I want to take a shower, I had to remove it. So um, I don't have it anymore. I'm not traveling with it anymore. But if you've been following me along, you know that I have had three of those in the past. So give it six months. I will miss it again and probably buy it back. The newest version of that, at least. Uh, it still works great, though, just so you guys know. But it's also just kind of convenient to sit here, put laundry in, edit some video, come back in, throw it in the dryer, get it out of the way. This is the last thing for the day in Salt Lake City here. So I already filled up propane all the way around, water, dumped the tank. Everything is done. We are ready to resume Lincoln Highway officially here in 2018. How great is that? Okay, hang tight, guys. Jackson and I will see you back on the Lincoln Highway in a couple days. Bye-bye. A friendly reminder from Jackson and I, don't forget to order your Don't Be a Tater Hater t-shirt, sweater, or hoodie. Available for a limited time. Dark colors are also available. Look in the video description below this video for more details.